Mitch, congratulations, first pro contract. Thanks How's that going? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a massive opportunity for me. I'm, I'm really grateful to be here. I'm so grateful for the club to trust in my ability to offer me this contract. So now I'm really happy, really, really happy. You've been, you've been on quite a journey. You've been here for it's about three years when yeah. Yeovil's Academy shut down. I mean, imagine the disappointment of that to, to then find your club like Exeter and, and you've been on this amazing journey. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. Uh, COVID, uh, like, unfortunately, like financial stuff as well. Um, but no, I'm grateful for Exeter to like giving me the opportunity to come down here. And I was like late under 15, started under 16s, and been over ever since. And I've I've loved it every single day. Just coming in, like it's a great, great club, great staff, great coaches. It just helped me develop through through the, through the years. You talk about how they've helped you develop through years. I mean, it, it obviously as a player, but I think as a person as well. Brad was really complimentary about. You, you know, as someone that's just great to have around and, and you're so enthusiastic and yeah. a great character. Oh, yeah, massively. They've, they help with everything. They, uh, they teach you how to be a person on and off the pitch and sportsmen alongside that. Um, like, for me, I've, I've sort of changed positions coming through the club, so they've helped me football development-wise, like turning and all, all the technical side behind it. Um, but no, like first, they always say that it's person first and they, they teach you how to be a person off the pitch first. So that's really good. We give great opportunities to our, to our academy players here, yeah. and you've been lucky enough to be in that first team environment a few times this year. I mean, tell me what that's been like, because obviously you've travelled to away games as well. Yeah, yeah. So I've been to a couple of games, and like the lads are such a group, such a nice group of lads. They're so like kind and they're so welcoming, welcoming to me and some of the under rest of the under 18s who are like coming to train with them and coming to be on the bench. So it's actually really good. It's such a fun experience to be there on a match day with stadium full of fans and so yeah that's no, really good and of course so many of that senior squad have been through this exact same journey as you from from the academy i mean yeah. josh keys had the, the experience yeah. of Torquay's academy closing down i mean players like that must be great mentors and to people yeah. to look up to yeah massively and it's it's so inspiring as well because you look at that and you see it could be you so you want to go and you want to chase it and like just looking over there looking at all the names on the, on the side of the building it's just mass massively inspiring and that it motivates you to like you can get where you want to get to in this first team. Obviously, so you were out there, they're training with them today. Weather was a bit rubbish. Yeah, but... weather's a bit, <laughs> weather's a bit bad. But no, it's good. It was good sessions, like te technical session, um, and like positions and like sort of shape wise, and um, for the weekend. So yeah. And what's it like been, been working with Gary? Obviously, he's put yeah. you in the squad a few times, and obviously working with him training. Yeah, today. Gary's really nice. He's really, really nice and he wants you to do well and he's really like welcoming like I said with the rest of them um, but he's, he's really helpful for me like developing and he's he's helped me relax a little bit and because going into their first time I was really nervous put a couple of passes hey why and, and he's really helped me to relax and sort of like be myself when I'm training with the first team. It's probably quite a simple question with a simple answer but what's your what's your goal now not just until the end of the season to, but be, to, to be starting in that first team and playing at St James Park for the fans. <laughs> Well, look, congratulations again. Thank you very we much. We hope we will see that very soon. Yeah, You've definitely, definitely worked hard and deserved it. So, Thank you very much. Appreciate it.